Hello everyone. So in this tutorial we're going to go through manually retopologizing your character in ZBrush. To complete this tutorial you will need a high resolution sculpt of uh, an object that's going to be in your scene. So for this example I've got a little rabbit character that I've quickly sculpted. Nice and simple. Okay so first thing we're going to do is uh, append a Z-sphere um, in our subtool panel like so and you'll notice that I've activated symmetry on the z-sphere okie dokie now I'm just going to change the color of my model to a slightly uh, darker tone here this is just to help my uh, wireframe stand out okay so to start building your new topology you'll need to have that z-sphere selected and go down to topology and simply click on edit topology now as you can see if I have draw mode on every time I click over my little rabbit character here it is drawing out uh, the new topological wireframe it comes out in yellow now this works pretty much the same way as any other um, tool does in ZBrush if you left click you'll draw things out and if you alt and click you'll delete them so if you ever want to go back to one of these points and uh, remove it, you simply just hold down Alt with Draw on and you will delete it. If you want to just manually move one of the points, then you just make sure that Draw mode is off and you've got Move mode on. And obviously you'll just move the vertices. Quite self-explanatory, right? Okie dokie. So... For this character, I want him to be quite low in our resolution. I only want him to be about a thousand triangles max. So that means I'm going to aim for 500 active points. So it's quite important that I enforce good topology. So in order to do this, I'm starting around the eyes and I'm going to make sure that I keep the loops all around the parts of the body that are going to move, to put it in simple terms. So around the eyes, I'm going to want to keep uh, good loops around the legs, around the paws, around the ears. Effectively, anywhere where there's a big change in direction in the geometry, I'm going to want to make sure that there's a loop around that. Now, to preview your topology, you're going to want to go up to uh, where it says Adaptive Skin, and you're just going to want to click on Preview. Now, the hotkey for this is simply A. If you just tap A whilst you're drawing out this topology, it will toggle on uh, the mesh view. So you'll get to see how this mesh looks as if it would be in any other hard surface modeling program. Now you'll also notice that there is a little slider next to it called Mesh Density. I currently had that set to 2. I think that's what it sets to by default. Just make sure that's set to 1 unless you want your model to be subdivided automatically. Okay, so from here on out, I'm going to carry on drawing out this character's uh, topology. I'm just going to time lapse most of this so you can see how I'm going about it. So it's really important to try and avoid too many triangles. What I also advise you do is to click over some of your points and move them about. Make sure that you haven't accidentally drawn the same point over itself twice. This can happen quite easily with this tool, so please be aware of that. So once you've completed that retopology, you're going to want to export it. So just make sure that you have that subtool selected. And you're going to want to go up to export on the top right. So what I'm doing here is exporting both my retopology, which is obviously going to be my low model. So I save that out as a rabbit low object file. And I'm also going to export out my sculpt as a rabbit high object file. Finally, what I also advise you do is you save out your work as a tool on the top right and you save the scene just by hitting control S. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. I've just got this guy back in 3ds Max, I've applied the textures to him. Uh, as you can see the wireframe, I've got all of that topology that I was working on in ZBrush uh, carrying over to here. It's come out as I wanted it to. And I'm gonna put this guy in the scene I've been working on to see how it all looks together. Okay, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, please post them below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.